Hey there, it's Elizabeth O'Brien from Grammar Revolution, where we help you teach and learn grammar the easy way with sentence diagrams. And we haven't diagrammed together in a while, so I thought we would diagram a couple of sentences together today. I am using the website letsdiagram.com because I can easily diagram my sentences with you, so that's where I am. And we're going to be diagramming a quotation from Henry Brooks Adams. I don't know much about Henry Brooks Adams. Other than that, he was an American historian and journalist and an educator, and he lived from 1838 to 1918. And I like this picture of him right here, sitting on uh, some steps and hanging out with a dog. So there he is, Henry Brooks Adams. All right, so here we are back at Let's Diagram, and I'm going to type in a sentence, two sentences, actually, two sentences. A teacher affects eternity. He or she can never tell where his influence, did I spell that right? Yes, stops. Okay, and then I click this diagram button, click, and now I'm able to pull all the words where I need to pull them onto the workspace. So we are, since we're making sentence diagrams and we have two sentences, we're going to make two sentence diagrams. The first one is very short because it's a short sentence. We always start by identifying the subject and the verb. So the subject tells us whom or what the sentence is about. This first sentence is, is about the teacher. A teacher affects eternity. Affects, here with an A, is a verb, and it needs to have something called a direct object. We can say, a teacher affects what? And that question is answered by this word here, eternity. And this is um, the direct object, we call that. So here's the sentence diagram. And if you don't know what all these words are, don't worry about it. It's just kind of fun to look at how the sentence is diagrammed. And if you have already studied grammar with us or with someone else, then you know what all these terms mean. So a teacher affects eternity. Again, I just want to point out, this is a single word functioning as something called the direct object. And you'll see why I'm focusing on that in just a moment. Okay. The next sentence is, he can never tell where his influence stops. He is the subject of this sentence. Can is a verb, and it's actually a helping verb. It's in a verb phrase. So there's another word that's functioning as the main verb. It's not this next word. It's not never. It's this word, tell. He can tell. Okay, never is an adverb. It's modifying these verbs here. So we stick it right under the verb that it's modifying. He can never tell. Now remember back up here, I said, um, we asked that question, what? We said, a teacher affects what? A teacher affects eternity. This was the direct object. Let's try that down here. He can never tell what? He can never tell where his influence stops. So here in this sentence, we had a single word as the direct object. Now we have all of these words as the direct object. I will show you how we diagram that. First, I'll make the little slot. Notice that the structure of the diagram is the same. We're going to put all of these words and connect them to the diagram in this slot. This is a clause. Influence is our subject. Stops is a verb. His is an adjective modifying influence. And where is an adverb modifying stops. All right, so here we have our words. Now we need to connect these words to this slot in the diagram, and we use this little guy to do that. I'm gonna make it a little shorter, probably. Let's see, I can always change it once I get it on there, and I'll make that a little shorter. It doesn't matter if you have this connected to the subject of, of this thing. By the way, this thing is called the dependent noun clause, and the whole clause is performing the job of the direct object, same as this word up here. You could also have this under there if you prefer, the subject or the verb, wherever you like to put it, it doesn't really matter. So there you have it. That's a, a sentence diagram, two sentence diagrams of a teacher affects eternity. He can never tell where his influence stops. If you want to learn more about this, if you would like to learn how to do this yourself or how to teach others, you can check out our website, which is grammarrevolution.com and our Get Smart Grammar program. In that program, I teach you with lessons and I'll teach you about sentence diagramming and about grammar. So thank you for being here and I'll see you later. Bye.